from Hollywood. It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now here's the star, Rodney Flippin. Thank you guys and thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Tic Tac Doe on the Rodney 1279 channel. This is episode 31 of 65 for season one. We're almost getting close to the Tournament of Champions. We're almost halfway through the season. And right now, as it stands, we have, uh, well, you know, Kyle is still in the lead in the, tur in the, in the um, tournament standings. But you never know. That can change quickly. But for right now, let's see who's the challenger and the champion, Steve. Our returning champion with over a ton of money, forgive me, I don't remember, is Christian from Poland. And our challenger is Craig Simmons. Hello. Craig, how you doing? Great. I know you're anxious at getting a win. I've been trying to get a win ever since I've played. All right, well, I do want to remind you, you do know you have to get three uh, symbols in a row, right? Yes. Across, up, and down diagonally, right? Uh-huh. Just to let you know. And, um, and Christian... Now, Christian has done something that nobody has ever done on Tic Tac Doe yesterday. Well, during the Face the Dragon game, Christian um, stopped because he felt that the dragon was going to come up and took the $5,500. But, Christian, you still have $200,073. So, and add putting them to the call, guys. That, that's, not, that's not bad, I think. No, it's still, it's a good score. For three uh, um, appearances, you're averaging about $66,000 per game. I got, I got fun to mid. He's coming. Yeah, so are you ready to go, um, Christian? Uh, of course. If you please, Steve, let's bring those nine categories up. And they are no vowels, no vowels, actors and actresses. Opponent's Choice, Zoology, Game Shows, the 1990s, Jumping Category, Food and Drink, Double or Nothing, as y'all know, if you choose that category and you're correct in that category, you can choose another box if you want to, but be careful that if you're wrong in that other category, you'll lose both boxes and TV shows. And Christian, you're the champion, so which category do you like? Let's start with uh, game shows. Game shows, okay. On the left side, let's see what game shows is about. Teams had to work together, together and decipher puzzles that are written in other words style. The host of this show was Henry Pollock II. What was the name of this game show? Uh, could you repeat? Yes, sir. Teams had to work together and decipher puzzles that are written in other words style. The host of this show was Henry Pollock II. What was the name of this game show? Five seconds. Maybe it's categories. No, it's not categories. The answer is double talk. Double talk. All right, uh, we shuffle the categories again. And you're up, Craig. All right. I would like to take TV shows for... In the middle. In the center, and it's going to be a two-part question worth um, $3,000. If you need the extra time, uh, we'll give it to you. First, which television star from the show Different Strokes died of an overdose in 1999? And the second question, name any actor on the show Different Strokes, okay? Here's, do you want the extra time? Yes, please. Give it to him. All right, Craig, do you want to answer the first part or the second part? Uh, I guess I'll answer the second part. All right, name any actor on the 
uh, TV show Different Strokes. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. I'm gonna take a random guess and say Reginald Bill Johnson. Say that again? Reginald. Reginald Bill Johnson. It's just a random guess. I, uh... No, it's he, been a long time since I watched the uh, different strokes. So. No, Reginald Vell Johnson. He was on Family Matters, I believe. Uh, yeah, close enough. But I would tell y'all the you the answer to this question. Well, the first question was which television star from the show Different Strokes died of an overdose in 1999. The answer to that question was Dana Plato. No. And so, the, so you knew that. Yeah, and the actors on Different Strokes were Gary Coleman, Todd Bridges, Conrad Bain, Charlotte Ray, Mary Jo Catlett, Danny Kutsky, Dixie Carter, Mary Marianne Mobley, and Nidra Voice. What you talking about, Lowe's? Uh, Gary Coleman, dude. Right. All right, let's shuffle the categories. And you're up, um, um, Christian. Let's try, uh... Food and drink. Food and drink. Okay, here's a question on food and drink. What vegetable do you julienne to make French fries? Uh, to make French fry, uh, we use uh, potato. That's correct. Two thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle it, and your turn, Craig. Okay, I'm gonna pick. Uh, the 1990s. Okay, the 1990s. Here's your question on the 1990s. This cloned sheep was the first mammal to be cloned by using an adult somatic cell by a process called nuclear transfer. Name the sheep that was cloned. Robot. Huh? A robot. <laughs> no, you know what cloning is? Uh, no. I'll tell you what cloning is. Well, that's the wrong answer, but I will teach you what cloning is. Cloning is when you take up uh, like a cell or something and try to create something that is exactly like you. That's cloning. Uh, hey, uh, can I, I tell the right answer? Yes, sir. You can. Uh, uh, Dolly. It was Dolly the sheep. That was it. The the sheep that was cloned. Okay. Two thousand dollars still on the board. We shuffle. And uh, what's your desire, uh, Christian? Okay. Uh, um, opponent's choice. Opponent's choice, okay. That means that, um, Craig, you get to choose a category for Christian, okay? Okay. Do you want him to, do you want him to answer a question on U.S. cities? Or measurement. Okay, I'll let uh, Christian go with game shows. No, 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 no. No, the two choices that Rodney said. Right, I gave you two categories to choose from. Oh. U.S. The city. Ones in red? Huh? The ones in red? No, no. No, no, no. The ones that the choices that Rodney gave to, to for Christian to right. answer about. You have to measurements choose. Measurements or U.S. cities. Right, measurements or U.S. cities. U.S. cities. Okay, here's a question on U.S. cities, Christian. What was the first U.S. city to have a subway system? What city to have a subway system? It was, uh, I, uh, I think it was, uh, Boston. What did you say? Uh, Boston. Boston is right. Four thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle it. And Craig, where you like to go? Game shows. Okay, game shows. He did not want to go for the block. I might have would have went for the block on that one, but it's your choice. Here's your question on game shows. 
on this game show, players try to uncover cro crossword clues in order to figure out the answer to the master puzzle that was usually a person, place, or thing. The first version was hosted by Jack Clark from 1975 through 1980 and David Sparks from 1986 through 1987. Name the show, Craig. Pictionary. No, not Pictionary. Darn it. It was Crosswits. Crosswits. All right, four thousand dollars still in the pile. We shuffle, and Christian, where would you like to go? To the drink for the win. Christian, if you're right on food and drink, you'll have Tic Tac Doe with six thousand dollars, and your winnings will go up to two hundred and six thousand seventy-three dollars. Okay. Here's your question, and this is multiple choice. President Reagan's the President Reagan's administration classified what school lunch food as a vegetable for $206,073. And here's the choices. Is it jello, french fries, ketchup, or pizza? I, it, it, I, it's a completely guess, uh, Jell-O. It's not Jell-O, not a bad guess. It's ketchup. Ketchup, okay, $4,000 still on the board. We shuffle, and Christian, where would you like to go now? That would be Craig, Rodney Craig. All right, right, thank you, sir. Craig. No vowel actors. Okay, he's going with no vowel actors for the block. Take a look at the Skype screen. I'm going to type you an um, uh, uh, answer in the Skype without the vowels in it. You must tell me where it is, and I'm going to read you a question additionally. Here it is. Let me type it in there. You see that? Yes. Okay, here's your question. This actress played the aunt on the TV sitcom Hogan's Family. Name her. Sandy Duncan. There you go. You got it. Yes. All right, we uh, add that circle in there. $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle. And it is your pick, uh, Christian. Double or nothing. He's going with double or nothing. Okay. All right. Here's a question on double or nothing. Let me get that out here. All right. Here's your question on double or nothing. What is the first foreign country you will reach if you go north of Detroit, Michigan? Uh, could you repeat? Yeah, what is the first foreign country you will reach if you go north of Detroit, Michigan? Five seconds. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I got it. You got it? Um, this is Canada. Say it again. Canada. That's correct. All right. Now, you got that uh, square. Now, you can claim that square or you can risk it for another box. But be careful. If you miss on it, you lose both. Got it. Let's <laughs> try no actors for the win. No vowel actors for the win, and it's going to be a two-part question, meaning there will be two answers to this one. And look, you're going to look at your Skype screen. I'm going to type two answers on the screen. And if you're right, you'll get $11,000, and your wings will go up to $211,073.
So give me a second here. Okay, can you uh, see the um, the two names up there? The second one is Betty White. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let me read the question for you to help you out. That bottom one is right. These two actresses okay. were on the show The Golden Girls, named them. Betty White is right, and for Tic Tac Doe, uh, and um, $211,073, what is the other one's name? But, but the first one, uh, I, I will need uh, an extra time. Steve, give him the extra time just for the heck of it. Got Thank it. you. All right, uh, you got the first one, Betty White. Now, um, who was, who's the other one top for Tic Tac Go? And remember, you I missed... I think that will... I'm not sure uh, that uh, that name I will pronounce uh, good, uh, but I'll try. Uh, Beatrice Arthur. Tic Tac Go! Tic Tac Go! All right, nicely played, nicely played. All right, so that uh, brings your winnings to $211,073, Craig. Oh, excuse me, Christian. Christian, I'm calling people the wrong name today. Christian, you have $211,073, and again, you'll face the dragon shortly. Well, um, Craig, um, we will have you back for another game. Hopefully, you'll win um, the next time, okay? I hope. All right, uh, are you ready to face the dragon? Sure. Let's come over here and let's do this. All right, Christian. You're doing fine. You have won four games in a row so far. And uh, let's uh, um, show uh, the Money and Mouse and the dragon, how the dragon, how are you doing today, Hal? Yeah, you shouldn't say nothing. Nope, and, nothing. Anyway, anyway, the object of this bonus game is to reach um, $10,000 or more without seeing that ugly thing in number five. If you reach $10,000 without seeing the dragon, we got some prizes for you, don't we, Steve? Sure do. We've got a queen-size bed sleep set, a living room group, a barrel sauna, a trip to Bermuda, 65 in projection TV, and all valued at $30,833. All right. Well, those are great prizes. And, um, Christian, if you manage to get the tick and attack like you did in two of the three games that you play, we're going to drop a $30,000 bonus on top of everything, okay? So, uh, let's... I hope so that uh, I will get it. <laughs> I hope so too. Mm -hmm. And you know you can stop along the way just in case if you um, get nervous that the drag might show up too, okay? But for right now, start picking. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start with number Five. Number five, right in the center. Let's see what's in number five, Steve. Oh! oh! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Dragon, so you mean to tell me the reason why you showed up was because he stopped yesterday? Is that why you showed your, your goofy ass up? I'm uh, somebody say Dragon? I'm sorry about that, Christian. You didn't even get going there. Let's see where the rest of the money amounts are. 
Somebody say dragon? Yeah, the, the dragon came up. Okay, it's time for me to, okay. Christian, I got you, man. I got you. Go ahead and kill the dragon. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll play more Tic Tac Doe, and Gary's going to shoot the dragon down. <laughs> now, Christian, what kind of, what kind of gun do I got the, I got uh, the pistol, I got a Colt 45, I got a Tommy gun, I got a shotgun. What gun would you like me to use? Goddamn dragon. Get that one. Use that one. What? What? Shotgun? Sure, use that one. Sure. Sure. Okay, sounds like a good Tommy. idea. Tommy. Oh, the Tommy. All right. Well, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the Tommy. My Tommy gun, though. Hello, Alex. Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, Hello, everybody. All right, guys. We'll be right back after this. Now back to more Take That Joe and your host, Rodney. Uh, hello, everybody. We, were, we had a good commercial break just a few minutes ago. Gary showing me some watermelons. You know what? Yeah, I, was, yeah, I was talking about pizza. But you know what? That's okay, Gary. I'm going to drink a smoothie right in front of your face. Oh, <laughs> 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 Anyway, Steve, uh, who's our next uh, challenger? Our next challenger is a former champion with over a lot of money, and his name is Matt123. Matt, how you doing, sir? Doing good. You uh, recently hosted Gambit, and I enjoyed the game very much. Thank you. Actually, we're uh, currently in our second episode, actually. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know what? I feel something right now. Hey, uh, Matt, do you have the happen to have the music go song of Gambit? Uh, Yeah. Play that song, just just a little bit of it. Just for the heck of it. Just for the heck All of right. it, because I feel like dancing right now. <laughs> I don't know about that after you just checked our spider last night. Here we go. Yeah, Joe, playing sounds good right now. Okay. Here we go, he's gonna pull it up. <laughs> Why aren't you dancing, Rodney? You don't need to dance. Folks, we're gonna be taking a dancing intermission. Right. <laughs> Ooh, we lost Matt. Uh, we all be come back. Yeah. Well, I guess we won't be hearing doing the gambit music. Oh. I'll t I'll tell y'all guys what. Who wants to take Matt's place until he comes back? Oh, I call. I call. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. I got it. Thank Gary called first. Gary, okay, you can take uh, Matt's place, but it does not count as your game, Gary, okay? No. Because you're playing for Matt. All right, let's see the nine categories. I'm going to stop joking around. They are numbers, the $10,000 question, Old Testament, State Birds, Board Games, Jump In Category, Michael Jackson Lyrics. I'm basically going to read you a lyric, and you must finish what that lyric is. We're doing that in honor of Michael Jackson dying five years ago. Bonus Category, if you choose that category, and you're, um, and you're right, you get to choose another box by answering a three-part question. And mix words. Christian, what would you like to begin, sir? Mm, well, let's try with uh, ten grand question. Right away, the ten thousand dollar question. Here's your question. You know the deal about this. If you answer it right, ten thousand dollars will go into the pot. Here's the question. What common legal item literally means under penalty? I'll read it one more time and then you have 10 seconds. Okay, 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 okay. What common legal item literally means under penalty? Uh, 
Sorry, Christian. I don't know. Yeah, the answer is a subpoena. Subpoena. That means under penalty. We shout for the categories, and Gary, you're up. Let's start with the Michael Jackson lyrics, please. Oh, I thought you might choose that one. All right. I'm going to sing a lyric. I might put my microphone on. I'm going to put myself on camera while I'm doing this. Alright, I'm a single lyric to you. You must tell me what the next lyric is, okay? Can I sing with you? Well, well, just so think about it. Here it is. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. Um, it's gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. And what is the next lyric after that? Here's your choices. Is it A, this is it? B, this time around? C, they don't care about us? Or D, man in the mirror? Oh, stop. Man in the mirror. Give him the box, Steve. <laughs> Nicely done, Gary. I did a, I must have did a good job with that. I, I can't help but sing along. Okay, uh... Okay, where would you like to go, Christian? Uh, the same category. Which one? Where my Michael Jackson uh, lyrics. Oh, you love that, huh? Oh. Alright, well, here we go. Here I go again. Back on me again. <laughs> well, I don't know the beat to this song, but I'm just gonna read it to y'all, okay? Could I, try, could I try it? <laughs> well, I have to show you my card, and then that will give it away to everybody else. Okay. Yeah, but here it is. Um, here's the lyric, and you have to tell me what's after it. Everybody look around, because there's a reason to rejoice, you see. Everybody come out, and let's commence to singing joyfully. What's the lyric after that? And here's the four choices. 25 miles, the lady in my life, we're almost there, or a brand new day. I hope that is the last one. A brand new day? Give him that X, Steve. And it's from the soundtrack album, The Wiz, back in 1978. Nicely done, Christian. All right, $4,000 in the pot, and it's already shuffled. Gary, where would you like to go? As much as I would love to hear Rodney sing, but we have to get serious for a moment. I'm gonna have to go for the mixed words. Mixed words, okay. Go ahead and look at the chat box on that. All right, what do we got? Let me put the question right here. I must have did the did a good thing by getting that category up there. Yeah, gave us some entertainment. See, one thing about my games, I do what I want to on these on my game, don't I, y'all? Yes, and one thing about it is, with all joking aside, it's all fair. Yes. Ah, uh, you see that um mixed word, Gary? That nice looking mixed word. Oh, you did a good job scrambling it too. Yes. Yes, okay, here's a question. This movie stars with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. What is that movie? Grease is the word, it's the word. It's That's correct. $6,000 in the pot, we shuffle it. And Christian, you're up. Board games for the plot. It's going to be a two-part question. And I'm getting myself confused here. Okay, here we go. We got a two-part question in board games. And here is the question. If you need the time, we'll give it to you. First, what game would you be playing if you slide down a snake? And the second uh, clue, what number do you have to get to win? Do you need the extra time? Yes. Give it to him. All 
right, um, um, Christian, do you want the first part or the second part? Uh, I I would first name the uh, name that uh, game. Yeah, what game would you be? Uh, so I think that is uh, Snake and uh, Snake and Ladders. Snake and Ladders is correct, or we would have accepted Shoots and Ladders. That's correct. And for the center box, what number do you have to get to win the game? Uh, so, uh, 50, 59. What did you say? 59. Oh, 59. No, that's not right. The answer is 100. 100, okay. $6,000 still in the pot. We shuffle. And Gary, where would you like to go? Board has, oh, never mind. Let's see what the let's see what numbers is all about for the block. All right, Gary. But for the win. For the win, yeah, Gary. If you're right on the numbers category, you'll be the new champion with nine thousand dollars. I'm gonna say you're gonna be the champion because you played a full game. Okay. Without Matt being on here. Okay. Here's the question. First, I want you to tell me how many sides. Does a do dodecahedron have? And Deca, what? Dodecahedron. Yeah. And the second uh, question: How many numbers, excluding the zeros, are there on the roulette wheel, excluding the zeros? Do you need the extra uh, time, Gary? Uh huh. Give it to him, Steve. Alright, um, Gary, which question do you want to answer first? The second one sounds better. How many numbers, excluding the zeros, are there on a roulette wheel? Seven, I haven't seen a wheel in a while. Ross, you're gonna kill me for this. I probably will. I was saying for Ross. Uh, five, four? 34? It's not 34. You were close. Well, I won't kill you because you were very close on that one. Uh, There's 36 uh, numbers on a roulette wheel, excluding the zeros. And the number size. Uh, I'm in the first. Uh, I gram, whatever it's called. No, dodecahedron. You know the answer, Christian, to that? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, 12. That's right. 12 sides in a dodecahedron. Okay. All right. We uh, shuffle the category. And where would you like to go, Christian? Board games for the block. <laughs> oh, the board games love you. All right. Two parters. All right, it's a two-part question, and if you need the extra time, we'll give it to you. Now, as you know, there are ten rooms in a game of Clue or Cluedo in the world. Name two of the rooms in the game of Clue or Cluedo. Do you need the extra time? Yes. Give it to him. Very good, Steve. Yeah, shut up. Very good, Steve, with that music. Thank you. You're hired. Thank you. All right. Uh, there are ten rooms in the game of Clue or Cluedo, as it is in, known in the world. I want you to give me two of the rooms in the game of that game, Clue. Okay. Uh, dining room. What did you say? Dining room. That's one of them. And uh, uh, dining room, uh, kitchen. That's two of them. Put that X up there. And I will go down the list. The lounge, the ballroom, the cellar, 
conservatory, the billiard room, library, and the study hall. Okay, let's shuffle up those categories. And where would you like to go, Garrison? Uh-oh. Let's go to that bonus category, see what, that's, what the story on that is. Well, this is good, Gary, because if you answer on the bonus category, you'll get the block and you'll get another turn. Okay, Gary? Yeah. Here's the question. What are the three primary colors? Red, orange, yellow? No, well, you missed one of them. It's not red, orange, yellow. Red and yellow is right. Blue is the other one. Oh. $9,000 still on the board with Shuffle. And <laughs> Christian, where would you like to go? Oh, let's try Michael Jackson for the win. Okay, if you're right on this Michael Jackson lyric, that will be a tic-tac-toe for you, and you'll have $222,073. Okay? Okay. And I'm going to have my microphone with me. Get ready to hear the tones of Michael Jackson. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Your butt is mine. Gonna tell you right, just show your face in broad daylight. And where's the next lyric for Tic Tac Doe and $222,073? Is it tabloid junkie, the girl is mine, bad or thriller? The girl is mine. Nope. No! No! Bad. You know what? And can I tell you something? I was about to give it to him, Steve, because he was so confident. And tell Corey that I'm in the middle of the game. Please don't interrupt me. Type that up there, Steve. Not now. Not now, Corey. Not now. Because, yeah, he comes late all the time. He does this to me. But anyway, the answer is bad. Who said bad? Yeah, we all did. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry I had to sing it. Right, right. I'm doing real good with the lyrics, am I? Yes, sir. Well, uh, the categories will be shuffled now. And where would you like to go, Garrison? Yeah, fun fact, I do apologize for singing. I had to get it out of my system. That's fine. We're having a good time with this category. But for yeah. the primary color ones, I was literally taught in school it was red, yellow, and orange. I was literally taught that in school. Well, what happens if you hug red and yellow, uh, Gary? You get orange. Well, not right. Orange. orange is not a primary color. Because if you hug red and yellow, you get orange. So, orange is a secondary color. They literally taught that in school. I'm not joking. Well, they messed you up, Gary. I'm telling you, they messed you up. But it's your turn. $10,000 question, please. All right. If you're right on this question... We add ten thousand dollars to the jackpot. This game is getting exciting. All right, Gary, what is Japanese sake made from? Sake. Yes. What? And y'all stop that typing. I'm reading a question. Where's Japanese sake made from? <laughs> Is it some type type of liquor or something? All right, judges. Um, do I um? What do you say about that, uh, Steve? Sounds like a, a liquor. Wait a minute. Um, what is it again? The sake. Yes, sake. Look it up. Yes, it is. It's liquor. Yes. Okay. I was mainly looking for rice. It does contain liquor in, in the rice. So you know what? Give them that uh, box. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for looking that up, y'all. Because, yeah, all I had down here was rice. But it is a liquor because you do drink it. So, yeah, rice is right. $10,000 in the pot. $19,000 on the board. Yes. And... It's an alcohol beverage. Okay. Yes. With rice, right? Does it say with rice? It is an alcohol beverage made, made from fermented rice, sometimes called rice wine. 
So there you go. Right. So I had to give it to you. You was close enough. All right, um, um, Christian, uh, your pick. Numbers for the block. All right, numbers for the block. This is an exciting game here. Here's a question. What is a perfect score in the, in the gymnastics exercise? Uh, that is uh, 6.0. Huh? 6.0? Uh, 6.0. Incorrect. The answer is 10. Perfect 10. Perfect 10. All right, we shuffle the categories again. Oh boy, and Gary, where would you like to go? I will give that 10 grand uh, uh, question a bash. You did well in it before. Now, uh, Gary, if you're writing this $10,000 question, you'll have Tic Tac Dell and you'll be the new champion with $29,000. Wouldn't Matt be the new champion? Or? Well, Matt would be, but you know what? Matt didn't even play the game. Okay. So I'm just going to declare Gary as the champion. Okay. Yeah. But here we go. Gary, for $29,000, which amendment to the Constitution of the United States guarantees the right to a speedy trial for Tic Tac Doe $29,000? Which amendment? Yes. The 14th Amendment? No. No. Mm. The answer is the Sixth Amendment. Oh, I was the, way off. All right. You've been saved uh, again, uh, um, Christian. Um, where would you like to go? Uh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's try mixed words for the block. Mixed words for the block. I'm going to need the chat box. Here we go. This is an exciting game. Long. The long game. This is probably the longest game we had. Take a, Steve. take a look down there. Spike on my name. Yeah, it was the guy with the watermelon picture. All right, you see that uh, down there, um, Christian? Yes, yes. Okay, your question is this. This is the name of a search website. What is that website? Yahoo. Yahoo is right. All right, $21,000 in the pot we shuffle. Gary, where would you like to go? State birds for the block. State birds for the block. Here's the question on state birds. I'm going to give you the um, state, and you tell me. Well, actually, I'm going to just put it this way. I'm going to give you the state bird to make it easy. I'm going to give you the state bird. You tell me what state it's in, okay? All right. The Baltimore Oreo. Mm, that's in Maryland. Right. <laughs> I would really have gotten one. You would have been like that. Asshole in me. I got that wrong. All right, twenty-three thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. This is a good game going. Oh. Ooh, uh oh. Where would you like to go, Christian? Which one? Uh oh. The jumping. The jumping. Okay. Right, I will tell you this. Christian, if you get it right, you'll have Tic Tac Doe and twenty five thousand dollars, and your winnings will go up to two hundred and thirty six thousand seventy three dollars. If you, um, Gary is right, he'll receive the block, okay? And I will say this: whoever's wrong, the other one will get the box automatically, okay? Hands on y'all dial pads, here's the question. And guys, pay attention to who buzz in first. Who played Alex's sister Mallory on the TV show Family Ties? Alex Mallory. Alex Nobody want to buzz in? 
never seen Okay, it. good. I thought for a minute uh, the whole place went uh, went desert on me. Right. Okay, I'll do another one. The answer was Justine Bateman because I noticed that it wants you either one to buzz in. So it's Justine Bateman. So for that, I'll throw this question out and we'll do another one, okay? Okay, here's the question. There's a lot on the line here. You know the issue, Christian. Gary, you know the issue too. Hands y'all y'all dial pad buttons. Here's the question. How did Alice enter Wonderland? How did Alice enter Wonderland? Who buzzed in? It was Gary. Gary, if you're right on the, this question and get and hit the X, so Steve, if if you're right on this question, Gary, then you'll make a block. If you're wrong, it's automatically a win for Christian. Isn't Gary circle? Oh, right, circle. Hit the circle button. Thank you for that, Steve. Okay. According to what I remember, how did she get into Waterland? What Waterland? Wonderland? Did she fall through a hole? More specifically, a rabbit hole. You're right. And you made a successful block. Wow. Wow, this is a good ass game right now. Alright, let's shuffle. I don't think any Whoa! Alright, let's shuffle. Okay. This and Gary, is this is the bonus category. And you have to take the bonus get category, Gary. And if you answer this question. On the bonus category, Gary, it'll be tic tac doe and twenty seven thousand dollars for you. Okay. I'm actually shaking right now. Yeah, this has been a good game up to this point. Here's the question: There were eighteen presidents of the United States that were Republican. I need you to name three of them for the box. And it says, and the extra turn. There won't be no extra turns because that's the last box. But if you're right, you'll win the game. So, you, you understand that, uh, Gary? I want, there were 18 presidents of the U.S. that were Republican. I need you to name three of them to claim that box. Jeez Louise. I don't really know for sure. I'm mean, I'm just gonna take a guess. I'm gonna be wrong anyway, but a guess was one FDR. No, it wasn't FDR. He was a Democrat. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna tell you of uh, the 18. So he was wrong, Steve. JFK. JFK was a Democrat too. Uh, the fort. Ford was one, yes. I'll list them for you. Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford B. Hayes, James A. Garfield, Chester A. Arthur, Benjamin Harrison, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Warren G. Hardy, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, George H. W. Bush, and George W. Bush. Those are the Republican presidents. All right, we shuffle. Okay, and it's board games, Christian. You have to take that one. And Christian, if you're right on board games, it will be a tie game, and we'll do another game at $25,000, well, $27,000 in the pot, okay? Okay. Here's the question. Good game, ain't it, Steve? Yes, it is. Here's your question. This is for our tie game. On which board game would you find areas called Ontario and Alberta? Yes, on which board game would you find areas called Ontario and Alberta? Five seconds. Maybe. Maybe 
did you not know which job works? What did you say? Uh, buzzer already sounded. Yeah, it already sounded. That's what's risk. I think you said Ouija board. It was wrong anyway. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, all right. We keep on going. And Gary, the Old Testament is your category. So the same situation applies. If you're right on the Old Testament, $27,000 will be in your pocket, okay? All right. Here's the question. After the 10 plagues of Egypt, who led the Israelites out of the out of Egypt and across the Red Sea. And here's your choices. Is it Moses, Ishmael, Jeremiah, or Solomon? It's Moses, final answer, lock it in. You got to that though! Bingo! Wow. Wow, that was a good game. I think that was the longest game we had on Tic Tac Doh. $27,000 to you, Gary. Fabulous. And you're gonna face the dragon shortly. Well, Christian, you have you were a good champion, Christian. You have played four games. You have won two hundred and eleven thousand seventy-three dollars. And our congratulations. You were a good champion, good player, Christian. Yeah, this was a tough game. All right, Gary, are you ready to face the dragon? Whenever you are. Let's go. Go ahead. Wow, that game was a long one. That was a good one. All right, we finally get to play against the Dragon after that game took 30 minutes to finish. Really? It did. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole show. That's a whole show. Yeah. Dang. All right, Gary. Um, you know the rules of the game. Let's just go ahead and tell him his prizes, Steve. There was sauna. Player piano, dining group dinnerware, spa, 55 percent TV, portable sound, 14 day sailor, valued at $34,061. All right, Garrison. And if you manage to get the tick and attack, Gary, we'll drop a $35,000 bonus on top of everything. Good luck. Let's cover the board up and go ahead and start picking. One. Number one. $1,000, good start. You know your options. You can stop or go. Six. Number six. Let's see what's in number six. $2,500. You're up to $3,500. What do you want to do? Seven. Number seven. Let's see what's in number seven. It's ten. Find attacking, you get that uh, bonus. Three. It's tack behind number three. Please. Fifteen hundred dollars. Now you need five thousand dollars or tack. <clears throat> or you can stop and take the five thousand if you want to walk away. Nine. All right, we need five thousand dollars or tack, Steve. Do we have it? See. $3,000 now, Gary. I believe this is going to be your last pick one way or another. Either you're going to win or you're going to lose. But you can take the $8,000 and walk away if you want to. What's your desire? Wait, get on. I'm going to actually, uh, I'm actually going to go for a walk right now. You want to take the $8,000 and walk away? Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. Okay, we add $8,000 to your total. Good call, Gary. Good call. Interesting. $35,000 is your total. And cold hard cash. Uh, now, Gary, if you would have picked again, just for a record, what would you have gone? Four. Would Gary been right? Five. Oh, he would have won the game there. But that's okay, Gary. I was right. I was right. Yeah, you were right. He would have had um the jackpot. Well, your total is thirty-five thousand dollars, Gary. Now, um, you're the new champion. Um, do you want to play another game? Um, hmm. I'm actually gonna give some thought on my next opponent. You can give some thought, so you're done here. For now. All right, until tomorrow, right? No, it depends if I want to continue. I'm gonna think about my opponent for now. I'm planning on doing another game. 
my All right. issue right now, I think. Or well, actually, either you want to do another game now, or you can wait till tomorrow to do it. All right, since Aubrey wants to play, might as well go against that guy. All right, and we're going to take another commercial break, and when we come back, we'll see if we can do another game. Good. Um, uh, stay tuned. Well, guys, welcome back. Well, Gary managed to get another eight thousand dollars added onto his total. He's up to thirty-five thousand dollars at the moment, and we're gonna do one more game tonight, and it's against this challenger. And the challenger is Aubrey Scott. Hey, Aubrey. Yeah. How do you like um that new Michael Jackson category? The way I was singing and stuff. Well, as Michael Jackson himself would sing, don't fuck till you get enough. There you go. Do you get enough? Do you get enough? Keep All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, reveal those nine categories, and they are The Price is Right, The $10,000 Question, Baseball, Famous Women, Daniel, Bonus Category, The 50 States, Opponent's Choice, and Who Am I? All right, Gary, your, it's your pick. Hmm. There's actually a couple good categories on here, a couple good ones. Hmm. Let's go for the bottom corner of who am I? Who am I? Okay. okay. Here's your question on who am I. And I should have put the answer on here. Oh, yeah, I do have the answer on here. I was about to get in trouble on camera. Here's your question on who am I? I am an American inventor and businessman who is best known for inventing the electric light bulb. Who am I? And here's the choices. Is uh, it, can I say it if it's all right? Do you want to say it without the choices? You'll risk being wrong now if you don't hear the choices. you want to still say it? Oh, well, what the heck? Might as well. Go ahead and say it. No, the options that you were saying. Okay. Is it A, George Eastman, B, Thomas Edison, C, Henry Ford, or D, Alexander Graham Bell? That guy invented, um, Bell invented the phone. Um, who was the third guy? He invented a car. It's going to be B, Thomas Edison, locking in. That's right. $2,000 in the pot. And, um, Aubrey, you're up. I'm going to choose the 50 states. All right, and I'm going to need the camera on this one. Our 50 states here. Got to get on camera on this one. Okay, Aubrey, do you see this state right here? Uh, yeah. All right, Concord is the capital of this U.S. state. Name it. That would be New Hampshire. New Hampshire would be right. Good job. And let me ding the bell, and we shuffle. Ding. It's always important to have the bell, or else. All right, um, Gary, where would you like to go? Let's take a look what we got. Famous women. Okay, center box is a two-part question worth uh, three thousand dollars. If you need the extra time, we will give it to you. First, according to Gen to the Guinness Book of World Records in 2013, I am the best-selling female artist of all time with over 300 million records. So, who am I? And here's the choices: Is it Whitney Houston? B, Madonna, C, Donna Summer, or D, Mariah Carey? The second question, caught in many silly lies throughout my career, I still managed to land the U.S. position of Secretary of the State from January 21st, 2009 through February 1st, 2013. Who am I? Do you need the extra time? Yes, please. Give it to him, Steve. All right, uh, Gary, which part do you want to answer first? The first one. 
According to the Guinness World Records of 2013, I am the best-selling female artist of all time with 300 million records sold. Who am I? Is it Whitney Houston, Madonna, Donna Summer, or Mariah Carey? Whitney Houston? No, it's not Whitney Houston. It's Madonna. And the, sec and the second one caught in many silly lies throughout my career, I still managed to land the U.S. position of Secretary of the State from January 21st, 2009 through February 1st, 2013. Who am I? That was Hillary Clinton. All right, $4,000 still in the pot. We shuffle. And where would you like to go, Aubrey? I'd like to go with the price is right. Two-part question on the price is right. And if you need the extra time, we'll give it to you. Okay. Okay, when Bob, when Bob Barker retired from the price is right, how many years did the show... Um, how many years did he do the show, and how old was Bob Barker when he retired? Do you need the extra time? No, I don't need the extra time at all. All right. He was uh, the he hosted the show for thirty five years, and I believe he was not quite eighty four when he retired. I believe he was still eighty three. That's correct. Seven thousand dollars in the pot. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. And we shuffle the categories, and Gary, would you like to go? This is, yeah. What's that bonus? Bonus category. We've been seeing a lot of that category lately. All right, you know about the bonus category, Gary. If you get this question right, you'll get the block, and also you'll get another turn, okay? Here's the question on the bonus category. There are eight vegetables in the famous vegetable juice, V8. I want you to name three of them. A tomato. Tomato is one of them. A carrot. Carrot is another one. One more for the box. Tomato, carrot, and... Five seconds. A, a, a potato? No, not a potato. Okay. I think I know it. Do you know all of them, Steve? Well, is one of them celery? Celery is another one. Well, I was thinking. Thought it'd be potato. Potato is not up there. Okay, Gary. I thought. Um. Beets. No. Beets is another one. Ew. Yeah, I hate beets. Onion? No onions no. in there. I don't know the rest. <laughs> okay, lettuce, parsley, watercress, and spinach. Those were the other ones. Okay, seven thousand dollars still on the board. And Aubrey, where would you like to go? Uh oh. I'm gonna take the opponent's choice for the win. It'll be for the win, but Gary gets to choose the category for you. And Gary. But if you're right on this question, you'll be the new champion and you'll have $9,000, um, um, Aubrey, okay? Gary, do you want him to answer a question on geography or actors? The geo. Geography. All right, Aubrey. Aubrey, for $9,000, here's your question on geography. The Bermuda Triangle is located in what ocean? That would be in the Atlantic Ocean. You got tic-tac-toe! Yes! All right. I'm hoping you're in the geography one. Thank you, dear. Uh, you're not welcome. <laughs> no. Yes. No, you goof, goofball. All right, $9,000, Aubrey. Nicely done, and, uh... In a minute, you'll be playing against the Dragon shortly. Well, Gary, you go home with $35,000. That's an all-cash total, and our congratulations, okay? At least it's something. It is. Yeah. Aubrey, come over here. Let's face the Dragon. That game was a lot quicker than that last one. All right, now um, let's show the amounts. And the dragon and Aubrey, let's see what you're going for. A trip to Nashville, Tennessee. A trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico. A grandfather clock. Queen size bed and sleep set. 
trip to Auckland, New Zealand, a trip to the Bahamas, all valued at $32,809. Okay, Aubrey, get the tick and attack, and we're gonna drop 40,000, yeah, I'm right, $40,000 bonus on your uh, total. That's the jackpot's getting up there. Let's cover the board up. Here we go. All right. And if you're ready, start picking. What's our number one, please? Number one, let's see what's in number one. Five thousand dollars, a big start. Now you what? can stop or you can continue. I can't stop. I gotta keep going. Okay, go ahead. Lucky number eight. Number eight, let's see what's in number eight. Oh, there's the tick. Get the tack, Aubrey, and you'll have a forty thousand dollar bonus. Okay. I definitely cannot stop here. I have to keep going. Okay. Number two. For everything, is it is the tack in number two? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, we've gone bank, hey, we've gone, gone bankrupt again. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So already you have won fifty thousand dollars in cash alone. That's fifty nine thousand dollars in cash plus the prize package. Where's that dragon was, Steve? I'm gonna take guess say four. Let's I see. Say number six. Number six. Five. Five. Ten. Whoever Five. said ten, they should hang themselves for saying ten. <laughs> Uh, it's three. It's three. <laughs> okay. So that. <laughs> Craig, those. You're so good. I don't care. Yeah. $82,809 at this point. And uh, let's see what car you going for, Aubrey. A Pontiac Vibe at 18456 It'll bring you to over a hundred thousand dollars if you find a car. Where's the car at? I'm gonna take tax. Is the car behind tax, Steve? Oh, I hope so. You got a new car, Aubrey. Yes! Hooray. <laughs> Yay! We're bankrupt again. Yay! Grand total, Aubrey, is a hundred and ten thousand two hundred and sixty-five dollars. And we will return with closing remarks. Don't go away. Oh, man. Wow. 101,000, it says. Right. Just add the 9,000 to it. Okay. We'll make it official. There we go. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're running short on time here. I just want to congratulate Aubrey with winning $110,265. And when are you available to play again? Uh, Thursday. Okay, we'll do Tic-Tac-Doe on Thursday. That is fine. All right, guys, this is Writing1279 signing off. Saying be safe, be careful, and join us for Second Fortune on tonight. It should be a good episode of that. Goodbye, everybody.
Jacob Rouse and speaking for Tic Tac Dell. Tic Tac Dell is a RCD production and association with the Skype Nation Network. Stay tuned for second portion.